Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. Uh, this is uh, for Gemini for the months of November 4th through the... Um, sorry, I was looking at the time. November 4th through the 18th, 2017. Um, so I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank all of you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Um, I ask that you please continue to do so. Remember, guys, these are general readings, so they may or may not resonate. Hopefully they do, though. Okay, also, guys, make sure that you're emailing me directly uh, for private readings. I do not have a website. I only operate on YouTube. Uh, I felt the need to stress that this series... Um, you know, I just want to make sure no one is stealing my business because I don't know. I just feel a little weird about that sometimes. Okay, so the heart of the situation, we have the Hanged Man, the Ten of Swords, King of Swords, then we have the Seven of Cups, Chariot, um, the Page of Swords, the Fool, and the Tower. Okay, heart of the situation, I feel like you are escaping, isolating yourself, daydreaming, fantasizing, manifesting. For some of you, you want something to end. You want to cut someone off. Your defenses, someone got on your bad side. And I feel like this is you. Now, you could be dealing with another air sign, such as yourself, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm feeling like right now, you are cutting... You you, you just not playing. You, you, cutting out, you cutting out bullshit. You like, I don't... Don't fuck with me. It's like I feel like this is some sort of attitude. Like you are realizing who has been real and who has been fake. And someone may have betrayed you. I feel like you're cutting someone out or giving someone the silent treatment. Or you're like you are dead to me. Now if this isn't you this could be someone that is treating you this way of their views towards you and for some of you this could also be a dream but I feel that you're kind of zoning out and you're trying to you know get back centered um it's like you sacrificed a lot of your time you sacrificed a lot of your energy you just need to to space out now and for some of you, I'm feeling like you're using relaxation through either meditation uh, or smoke, smoking like weed or mushrooms or, you know, like natural high, organic high. Um, so whatever that is, uh, for some of you, I, I just kind of feel like that is what you're doing because you've already given up a lot and, you know, you just need some me time now. <sighs> Um, I'm seeing like fantasies, illusions, and then this kind of t ties in with that daydreaming. So I don't know if there's someone, especially if you're single um, or you're unavailable because you're in a re relationship, like you're fantasizing about somebody that you're desiring or wanting. Um, you may also be tempted watch the liquor if you go out because all of the truth is going to come out like the liquor is going to work like truth serum you're going to try to cover it up and say oh I was drunk but no that was you spilling your true emotions like how you really feel once you get drunk um, or high it's like it's, it's coming out and then when that happens uh, you're gonna defend yourself or say you know like like I said you're just gonna be like no I didn't mean it you know that was that wasn't me talking and I just kind of feel like you're getting really uh, defensive about 
what it is that you said or did. Um, again, if this isn't you, this is someone that you're dealing with. If you're single, uh, I feel like you've just been dreaming a lot and having like a lot of fantasies. You might be coming off as detached or unapproachable. Um, I'm just feeling like either you or someone that you're interested in is extremely guarded or protected. They're not letting their guards down for whatever reason. This is someone uh, protective of their emotions. But I'm also sensing someone hiding or covering up like some sort of secret affair. There is, there is, uh, or you might have a secret uh, enemy in your corner, like someone who you think you're cool with, uh, you're not. And you might find that out. I don't know what that is. I'm just getting like a lot of defensive energy here. I don't know what happened, but it's kind of like you're standing up to people and speaking your mind. Like you feel like you need to protect yourself or defend yourself. I don't know if you feel like people are taking advantage of you or taking your kindness for weakness, but... Um, I feel like you're feeling the need to be uh, overprotective. Um, some of you are overprotective of your child. Some of you are just walking away. You're letting it go. You're, you know, it's like you're tired of it. You're tired of it all. You're, you're tired of the lies, tired of whatever it is. Um, and you're just letting go. You're saying, I'm just going to do me and, you know, no one's no one's gonna get in my way now because I'm feeling like you're torn or you're determined to have things get things done so you can't let things get in the way you can't be distracted and you're letting loose you're letting go you're starting a new journey and then for some of you someone is going to magically appear or suddenly appear in your life or out of the blue something's happening like this free-spirited person just suddenly wanders into your life, someone that you had not been talking to. I feel like they're going to just suddenly appear again. Either it could be on social media, you could receive some sort of news or invitation, invitation from them or a message or something. Um, just something out of the blue. I just feel like out of the blue is just popping out. Um, let me clarify the tower. For you guys, somebody else has the tower. I think that was just Taurus. So this tower seems like it has to do with a person. They could be an earth sign. They don't have to be, but they could be a Taurus. Uh, and I did say, I think this came out in Taurus, the tower. So it, it could have something to do with the Taurus, uh, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, but something in regards to this earth sign that comes out it's something that's either going to be exposed or you hear from them and you weren't expecting to or you find out something about this person that makes you see them in a different light um this might be a business person or you might suddenly find yourself single suddenly like a sudden breakup I don't know if this person is the cause of the breakup, like your partner leaves you for this earth sign or you're leaving your partner for this earth sign. But there looks like there is a sudden um, separation or someone causes a separation, even if it's not cheating, like maybe someone just keeps interfering in your relationship and that was the last straw. And, you know, it's like that caused 
a breakup so like a, a, a nosy or a nosy uh, what do you call it in-law or a instigating family member or friend someone I uh, could have done something to cause some sort of disturbance in your relationship if you're in a relationship if you're not in a relationship be careful that and it's someone that you're interested in you might find out something that hurt breaks your heart like a shot like someone you have a crush on you might find out there that they're in a relationship or that they're taken and that kind of you know breaks your heart those of you that are in relationships you are going to be tempted someone's going to try to approach you um there's like this instant attraction but i feel that you're going to be loyal you're going to hold out if this doesn't happen to you as your partner they're they're going to be resistant this also falls in line with this uh chariot and being protective and defensive you know because they don't want to ruin what they have so some of you are going to be approached um and i feel like there is chemistry which is why this is hard for you to fight those urges but you're strong you know it's like even if this person is the most gorgeous person you've ever seen or if the spiritual chemistry is there like you're you know so into their intellect whatever it is that you're extremely attracted to in this person you're going to control those desires um those of you that are single there's like an opportunity to flirt or an opportunity um, an opportunity to get with someone or to let someone know that you're attracted to them but it's like you're not going to do it or if you do it they for whatever reason they're reframing from you know talking to you there is some sort of restraint going on someone is you know really trying to control those desires there could be dealing with the Leo Aries or, or Sagittarius um, this earth sign has come back out again. Um, this person could be in their 30s. Doesn't have to be. But I do feel like there's a lot of passion with them. Uh, they're really slow at um, coming around. So if there's those of you that are single and there's someone that you're interested in, there is an attraction between the two of you, but they're really slow to approach or you know to come around they're not the attractions there but they're not gonna say it for whatever reason I don't know they could be extremely shy or timid or antisocial or have social anxiety there's something going on with them with it that they're struggling with uh, they have to be forced out of their comfort zone there may be an opportunity where you get to have a conversation with this person uh, you might have to push their buttons or someone is pushing your buttons because someone is being pushed out of their comfort zone um, also there could be some sort of dispute but I'm feeling like sexual frustration some of you this is sexual frustration and you're not gonna hold it any longer you're gonna let it all loose uh, you're like I can't hold it anymore and this is loads of sex just multiple orgasms um now if you don't meet anybody then obviously that that's solitary stuff so you know a lot of videos and movies and images it's like you gotta release it this is all that frustration is being released um For some of you too, you might receive a lot of uh, messages. I'm seeing this more so as kind of maybe like dirty talk. Like you might send a dirty message to someone or someone might be sending a dirty message to you or a new picture or something. Something of that sort could be happening at some point. 
and it might catch you off guard especially like you didn't think that person was that way maybe they were reserved or you just weren't expecting it but someone is either going to flirt in some sort of way that you're not ex you weren't expecting all right so you guys this has been a, a general reading hope it resonated um Everyone's life is different, so for private readings, you can always email nomad76 at gmail.com. That information is in the description box below. Make sure, again, you are emailing me directly. Do not click on other additional external links from outside of YouTube. I only operate on this channel, Miss High Concept, okay? So thank you guys for watching. Many blessings to you.